thing sitting on the ground here in the weeds and muck, so we're gonna jack it up. Oh yeah, jacked up so we can get some blocks under it. Yeah, yeah, looking pretty funny. Hmm. There we go, got it up on blocks. Much higher off the ground than it used to be. So really this is just so it doesn't sit in the wetness with the weeds and everything. We're going to work under it, we'll have to put jack stands and stuff just to be safe, but this gets it off the ground away from these weeds. Looking pretty decent. Okay, 1960 Starliner. It's missing a window here. Back seat looks pretty air conditioned. The seat looks pretty fun to sit on too. It's got that extra reclining section there so your back goes in a little further. The ceiling looks pretty decent. It's not dropping. Got a few holes in the floor. Nothing too crazy. Here it's looking a little bit... Yeah, there's some holes. Extra special wires. Just bonus in case you want to tie them together. Windshield's perfectly visible. Just needs a little wiper fluid and you're good to go. Hmm. No engine. Guess it's the Flintstone mobile. Gotta stick your feet through those holes to move it. No bumper either. This one's gonna take some work. Lots of work. Couple of good body panels though. Rear bumper looks good. Rear window looks good. It's got some torsion bars. Side door. Floor looks pretty decent from this angle. Just got those holes, got welds some patches in. Ready for a ride. Okay, doing the green one now. Got one set of blocks under. Getting ready to put the next set. Okay, doing another one here. The green one, see we got the reddish colored one up on the blocks. This one's halfway up. Then we gotta fit the jack under that side. It's so close to the ground, uh-huh. But yeah, we're getting there. Okay, there it is. Got it up on the box. Good enough to keep it off the ground. Don't want to work under there like that, but it keeps it a little bit drier until we can get some kind of a garage built over them. But yeah, those things aren't free. There we go. Another 1960 Starliner. This one's green, got some bumblebees flying around it, being all happy. 
go ahead and check out the interior of this one here. This one's got okay shape. Uh, there's like no seats or anything inside. But the floor is looking pretty decent. There we go. Yep. As you can see, Tanner's been working on welding some of those holes in the floor panels here. Check out Tanner Rebuilds to see that in action. Along with several of the other Starliners that he's been working on. There we go. Okay, let's check out the inside through the driver's side here. There's the tag. Interior, roof looks kind of saggy. Yeah. Otherwise, it's pretty solid. Let's go ahead and shut the door here. Yeah. This one does have an engine. No transmission though. And now it's up in the air. Okay, let's go ahead and open the hood on this one. A little bit squeaky, but otherwise it opens nice and easy. Okay, there we are. Got a Ford FE engine in it. Don't know much about it yet. Intake says C6AE. Okay, looks like an angle grinder in here. That didn't come with it though. And as you can see back there, no transmission attached. Okay, let's check out the trunk here. Ta-da! We have a giant hole in the trunk. So, it's going to take a piece of sheet metal and some weld in there. Okay. There we go. And here's the engine code.